My first production, La Traviata by Verdi, uh, I decided to depart from the original setting in 19th century Paris, and I drew my inspiration from the novel, The Lady of the Camellias, and I intertwined Sylvia Plath's The Bell Jar. This gave me the opportunity to tell Violetta's journey in modern day New York City, depicting her character as who she truly was. Her goal in life was to live a normal life, in a life of mutual respect. We saw Violetta ripped of her hope of acceptance and a happy life. However, we also saw her rising in the face of male dominance, thus breaking her imprisonment in the bell jar. Last season's 2019 production was Bizet's Carmen. I produced this particular opera both in New York City and then again in the beautiful area of Umbria, Italy. I set the opera in New York City in the early 1970s, just at the end of the Vietnam War. Many of our soldiers were returning with PTSD in an economy that was suffering from mass recession and drug addiction was on the rise. I based the character of Carmen on the true story of Colombian drug lord Griselda Blanco. She was 17 years old and crossed the border of Colombia into the United States to smuggle the cocaine by sewing the drugs into undergarments and hiding them in the heels of shoes. She had a, a flourishing business in New York City and also Miami. She was a very, very brutal, powerful woman who I didn't really care that people liked. It isn't about that, it was about who she truly was. The Hospitale de la Pietà was an orphanage and asylum for bastard children um, who were abandoned on the streets of 1700s Venice, which at the time was a city that was full of prostitutes. So there were all these sort of unwanted children left on the streets until the Pietà was opened. The most remarkable thing about the Pietà is that in addition to taking in all these girls, they taught them music, how to play every instrument, how to sing, to the point where these girls became the premier orchestra of Europe. Because the, many of the girls were physically disfigured, they were banned in the street, they might have diseases or they might have some sort of mental illness, they always performed behind a lattice. That image was just so stunning to me that I um, had to write an uh, opera about it. The central character of Pietà um, is sort of struggling throughout the show to figure out what she can turn to. She tries to turn to her, her own talent, she tries to turn to God, and it is eventually revealed that that character is, of course, the Principessa from Suor Angelica. Both operas are, to a certain extent, um, about the institutionalization of women. Uh, the inspiration for Suor Angelica, I, I discovered a true story about basically a workhouse in Toon, Galway, Ireland, that opened in 1945 and didn't close until 1969. Pregnant, unwed mothers were basically imprisoned to have their babies in this institution. And after the babies were delivered, they were separated from their mothers. When we come into the opera of Suor Angelica, all, the, all of the young women are pregnant. Suor Angelica, who had had a baby years before, she's still in, in this institution. The visit from the Principessa, which is traditionally in the opera, is of course from the character from Pietà. I was so excited to put these pieces together with Jake and tell again the true story of women. So I'm very excited to get started. I yeah. hope you all can join us at the Narnia Festival 2020 mm -hmm. as part of this incredible undertaking. And uh, thank you so much. See you there. <laughs>